Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Subnautica. Uh, I have been a little busy after the last episode. There's a few couple of things I've done. Uh, I don't know if you can actually see in here. You should be able to. Uh, I placed a couple of beacons. This one over here. I believe this one here actually goes down to the Mushroom Cave. I went down there and I was trying to get some more magnetite and a few other things. And that one, I believe, was a thermal vent, so we might be moving our base over there. I also... Uh, yes, that's the right button. It's been a few days since I've played. I also do have everything ready to go, and I even got all the blueprints for, where is it, the Cyclops. So we're ready to go with this. Uh, so I'm gonna, we're gonna get the Cyclops up and running, and I want to try to do some work on the Seamoth. Uh, one of the things I want to do is get that, uh, where is it here, the hull thingy, hull reinforcement. We get that on the Seamoth, and then I want to actually try something with the storage here. Because I do believe I have something in here. Uh, no. Let's put some creep vines in there. And I want to see what happens when I take that module out. So uh, I keep pushing E for some reason. So it... Oh, darn. I was hoping I'd be able to cheat the system, but that don't work. Okay. Well, that is that being said. Uh, first, let's go and get ourselves a submarine, shall we? Uh, I gotta go find where the vehicle bay was. I think we have to actually have to move it. Yeah, we gotta go this way. It's been a while since we've been in here, but we're gonna work on designing a new base eventually. So I guess I should just gotta move it over there. So let's, uh, how do I pick this up? Okay, and let's head out this way. I've watched somebody else build it already, and uh, yeah, you do need some space because it's going to drop right in the middle of the ocean. Uh, I also want to do some exploring too. I know there's, know there's a lot of things I've missed. Uh, let's go over here. <laughs> Always it makes my heart jump a little bit when I pop out of the water unexpectedly like that. But, uh, what was I saying? I can't even remember now. Let's, uh, let's get this out here and start building to see what, uh, our, uh, Submarine. Yes. Okay. Let's get in. Uh, I noticed too there's a, quite a few things that I don't actually have blueprints for, for making things like polyaniline and stuff like that, so I guess. Cannot build here. Must oh. be constructed in deeper water. Deeper yet? Come on. Right, let's, let's pick it up, not get on it. Okay. So I guess I gotta go over here. I just don't want to be too close to the site. Uh, the Aurora. Speaking of the Aurora, I looked over the last video, and I didn't actually see this the sunbeam there. I watched somebody else's video over the week, last couple of days, and yeah, I could, uh, I could see the sunbeam in their video, just not in mine. So I guess it just didn't render in time. Or come on, I hit five. Alright, let's do this. Finally! Hooray! 40 foot sub for one. That's the achievement. Now why does it build so high? Well, this mistake is in your hands. So you're letting me have this thing. Okay, let's get in, shall we? That's why it's gotta drop at 50 feet down below. Uh, come on. Is that, is that the Cyclops or a reef back? All right, so here we go. Oh, ah, that's how we change the color. Okay, well, let's, uh, well, we're in a submarine, so let's make it a yellow submarine. Uh, the stripe. What stripe is that? Let's just make that darker yellow, I think. Because we're going to be in a yellow submarine. Why not? Uh, stripe 3 will make that black, I guess. Name. Uh, we'll make a nice dark green. And it's going to be called Ocean Madness. Oh, how do I spell it right? 
Actually, <laughs> let's actually have some fun with the spelling, why not? There we go. Sorry about the star. Uh, it's my uh, recording geek, but we'll call it Ocean Madness. Alright, let's go take a look. See how a yellow submarine looks. See how it actually looks like a yellow, like a banana. Sure. Perfect. Okay. Now, do I need to have a special docking module for this thing, for the CMOS? That's what I'm wondering. Let's go explore, shall we? I know I do have to get some things. We actually got to go back to that island and get some seeds, plants, get some proper food and water going. Uh, no vehicle docked. I don't think I actually need a module for this, I don't think. So, let's go see if we can grab the seam off. Well, we're actually, let's go back to the engine room. There was a fabricator here for upgrades for this thing, wasn't there? Maybe we'll pick up some resources and see what we get. Now, if you can change the color of the sub, why isn't the inside of the sub changed? Did I just miss something? Maybe? Well, I should be able to change the inside color. Apparently not. Oh, well. That's a shame. Okay. Uh, so we have depth module, black plastic, and the ruby. Uh, might be able to get that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's what I mean. I don't know how to make the benzene or the polyaniline, so I think we gotta go explore stuff. I think the benzene, I need that blood oil, which I have an idea where that is or what I'm looking for, and then I gotta go find the rest of the stuff. I uh, don't need the repair module, really. Could make it though. Alright, let me uh, go get all the stuff ready and then uh, we'll get at it. You know what? I just had a smart idea. Let's actually just drive this thing. Okay, turn the engine on. Nice view. I like it. At least you don't have those like, little arms from Seamoth in the way. Alright, let's, let's ride, shall we? Oh, so much better. Yeah, I didn't... Was that something down there? Oh, it's just part of the HUD. It's a little noisy. I gotta turn that off too. I was actually trying to find the enameled glass. Uh, so I picked up some stalker teeth. I think that's what we actually need for the plasteel. That and the titanium ingots. I'm not 100% sure. Let's shut that off. And how do we get out? E. Okay. Uh what was that? Okay, what's going on? <laughs> Is that the just it parking or something? I have no idea. That was weird. Anyway. Okay, I'm gonna always make that depth module while I'm here for the sea moss. I needed lithium and diamonds for that. I think I have to go upstairs. So we go up here and yes, you can tell I've been here recently. All right, uh, this side. So, plasteel was... Oh, lithium and titanium. Alright, what do I have for titanium? Yeah. Alright. I gotta get a few resources together, and apparently I need to drink some water. I'm gonna die because the uh, computer won't stop bugging me. Oh, I need rubies. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, I'll bring you back in a moment. Alright, well, it seems I do need uh, to get a few extra parts or supplies here and there, not only resort uh, rubies, but apparently I don't have any copper whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and I've made the hull of reinforcement already, so I'm going to go ahead and pop that in there. And we're going to take the seed moth out for a spin and then we'll dock and uh, 
in ocean madness when we're done. But I need to go ahead and find some copper for one, so we'll go ahead and go look for some new stuff. Uh, I do feel a little bit safer in this thing because apparently there's stalkers hanging around here now, apparently. Uh, there was one just over there. I was out trying to get some food. Actually, that's what we should do. Uh, we gotta find out uh, where that island was. That's not what I'm looking for here. Uh, hmm. Biological data? Ruby, what's this? Uh, yeah, okay, never mind. I'm trying to figure out where we were. Was that the Degassi? Supposed to go to that rendezvous point. I'm trying to figure out where that was. Mm -hmm. Let's actually look at beacons. This might actually help a little bit better. Uh, Alright, and we'll make that yellow so I can see it. Where is this thing? There it is. Behind the clouds. You know what? Let's take the Cyclops. Or the Ocean Madness. Yeah, yes, I got a big smile on my face. What is that noise? Somebody actually hitting the ship? Yeah, let's find out. I think it was showing the HUD. My field of view is way in two, I think. In this. Yeah, it sounds like somebody's hitting me. Uh, let me check something here. That's a little better. Field of view is way too far in. Alright, so we are looking for. This way. I swear to God, something's hitting me. I have no idea what that is. Let's uh, put in the face here. I don't care. Pick up some speed. Honestly, I'd like to see mod this faster than this thing. Engine overheat. Uh, I hear a lot of creaking. That ain't good. And this will be a couple of minutes by the looks of it. So, I'll bring you back when I'm there. Okay, here we are. I uh, set it to slow too and silent running just because I know there are leviathans around here. What is that? That's the like actual debris just falling off this island or, or what? But I'm gonna go ahead and shut her down and we're gonna go explore. We'll see what I missed up here. Uh, someone did mention they did miss a few things. And right to a Ruby Reaper. It's one thing I don't like about the ocean is when you're in there and you look down you don't see nothing. It's just pitch black. Uh, I should have made the, the knife. In fact, did I make the propulsion cannon? Uh, of course I didn't. Why would I go do a thing like that? Okay, so I do need to find a few things and take a few scans. Like, what's this? We we'll check out all this stuff. I know this is how I learn about new recipes and whatnot. Okay, we can get a seed from that. What's this? This is nothing. This is all main plants. Uh, anything here? No. 
speckled rattler. I'm gonna pick one up just in case. So I'm gonna go look around. If I find anything interesting, I'll bring you back. All right. Well, here's a interesting dilemma. For some reason, I ran out of power. I did have the actual. Sh I shut the power off before I left, and now all my solar panels or, or power cells are dead. And I'm wondering if it's got to do with the fact that I got the seam moth docked here for some reason. Oh, that's interesting. You can actually access the upgrades. Oh, that's cool. Uh, anyways, I did find out find what I need. I got uh, it is decomposing. Damn, I was worried about that. Uh, so that means I got to build a grow bit on here. I couldn't actually get seeds from it, so I was hoping I could plant the fruit, but that wasn't the case. Now, what was I looking for? Oh yeah, uh, down the lockers. Show you all the other stuff I got was down there. So yeah, I got this. Yeah, okay, it's all rotting. I basically, except for the seeds, the seeds will hold. Uh, as far as the stuff that you need the fruit, I'm guessing to actually plant. That it might have to be planted fresh on the cyclops, for instance. And then go from there. But anyway, so I gotta go and, uh, take the sea moth back to the base, try to get some power cells going, and go from there. Maybe there's a, a charger for this thing. Maybe, I don't know. But anyways, I'll bring it back. Okay, I have six brand new uh, power cells made. Took a little while to get the copper and whatnot. Actually, why did I go out this way when I got this one here? Uh, I did, uh, however, want to check to see if a gel sec actually grows or not, and I don't think it does. Uh, I have been going to take care of my um, my lantern fruit it has been growing. I punched a couple more of them, but with that being said, I did actually do a little bit of exploration. Got the power cell, but or the power cell charger, but I need more rubies for that. Uh, that is actually over. Put the same way as I get the. Magnetite uh, shale deposits, which are going to be probably over there. But now, now we got to go. Now we got to go get the sea moth back. I had to move this thing too, because it was doing a lot of this where it was grabbing something underground, which was weird. So, but it don't matter because we have we have proper food supply going on. But anyways, I'm gonna make my way back here. Uh, still don't know why this thing ran out of power. If it had, you know, I don't think this would have drained it. Maybe I get in the habit of turning my lights off when I dock it. Maybe that could have been it. But anyways, I'll bring you. Uh, I'll bring you back when I got it back up online. Okay, I am here, and uh, yeah, uh, apparently the won't even open if it's got no power. All right. Kind of makes sense. So now I gotta wake my way back to the engine room, which is all the way back here. I did charge up the batteries, though. Oh, I can't see nothing. I got all those beacons in my face. So now we're gonna find out if I actually do have to have all six power cells in here. No, I do not. Yeah, interesting. Now let's check something here. 17%. Okay. That's what I figured. Still don't know why the power went out. Again, I think it might have had something to do with me having the lights on. So let's go ahead and change these all out. Okay, and I have to go through the other door to get to the other side. Of course. So now we gotta find rubies. Now. I know there used to be a thing where you could you could have a power cell charger on the on here and it would actually charge the power cells for you theoretically giving you limitless energy. Uh, the problem being is like 
what do you do? Like, how do you actually get proper power generation on this thing? Shouldn't you have some sort of generator that keeps everything going? Okay. First, the lights off. Okay, pick me up. Thank you. Now, is there something I can actually do here that stops it from stealing power? Doesn't seem to be. Hmm. Now, look, there's anything in here we can actually access, is there? That could have helped turn the, the lights off, but. Anyways, does that mean I am good to go? I am. Alright, well, actually, what do I want to do first? Before we go anywhere, I actually want to go ahead and place a grow bed down here. Maybe even a couple of them. Uh, would this be a good spot for it? Sure, why not? Let's try to get it right in here. Or it's not in the way. Now I gotta go check and see if those those seeds are still good downstairs. Because I had all these seeds in the containers that I picked up. Okay, that's not actually food. Oh, good, we have the marble melons. Nice. And I got, um, what else we got in here? I wonder if that's actually gonna grow even though it's rotten. Let's find out. I know the lantern fruit now is uh, decomposing and it's still still planted. All right, all right. They're growing. Uh -huh. That's good, so we got some food. I was actually worried that I was going to lose those seeds because, you know, I don't know if they'd ever respawn back there. I have no idea what this stuff is for. Uh, I think this is all just decorative stuff. But now, now I gotta go find some resources. We need to find some diamonds. So let us, not diamonds, rubies. Okay, where is the engine? It's two. All right, now, so now we're gonna go ahead back to that green beacon, I think. And we're gonna take a little dip down into the Whatever caves those are, let's see if we get some more di some rubies. Now that is that that away. So I shall see you in a moment. Okay, we are here. It's just down there. Uh, I was actually wondering, isn't there like a damage indicator on this thing? Because I could have sworn I hit something. I don't really see a damage thing unless we just gotta wait for. A Hull breaches, I guess? I don't know. But there was actually something I was thinking about, too. And uh, that was about these upgrades that we have here. There was, uh, no, the energy efficiency one, but there was something about. I thought there was, I saw something. Maybe that's in the modification station. About. Uh, about thermal generator. About being able to charge the. Power cells using thermal generators, thermal generation. I'm not too sure, but I turned the power off, uh, the power off, and I've got the lights turned off. So hopefully, I shouldn't be using any power at all. So I'm at 98%. We'll find out when we get back. Now I'm hoping that this is going to work with this actually shit turned off. Oh wait, see Moth is back here. Ha ha. ha. And I have to see how much inventory space I have. I have enough. Alright, let's go take a look. So we can go down to 300 meters, so that is good. So I'm just looking for rubies, really. And the rubies should be just about anywhere. And I think we find them more or less anywhere around here, because so I have seen them. I know we get them from the shale outcroppings as well. And I don't think we really have too much to worry about down here. And it's just a matter of uh, finding what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go around and look for these shale rocks, which are always uh, really hard to find. 
and try not try not to get lost. So, uh, yeah, I'll. Oh wow, he's got the infection too. You know, that was something I was thinking about too. Like, uh, how long do I have before I can't play the game anymore? Do I have to? Is there like there's a certain time limit I have to actually cure myself and get off the planet before it all goes to hell, or is it just whatever? I don't know, but I'm gonna look around and uh, I'll bring you back when I got some rubies. All right, so apparently I was looking in the wrong area. Apparently I gotta go to the Grand Reef. Apparently is probably the best place to find it. All right, so 97. So we are losing a little bit of power. I don't know why. Okay, that's probably just from me loading and unloading the Aurora or uh, Cyclop. Yeah. Seamoth. Yes. All right, so I need to head south, I do believe. Let's see where we are here. All right, we should actually be going this way. Apparently, I just find these things on the seabed, so I will look around. I gotta look for the bulb zone, apparently. Apparently, what I'm lo looking for, it's gonna be somewhere around the, the island there. Anyway, I shall see you when I get there. Well, we're down here and the infection sure is spreading. I gotta admit that. So, I don't know where we're supposed to find these rubies. I've been finding them in strange places. And I cannot see anything down below. This is... This is a little freaky. Like, I think this is where I'm supposed to be going. It's, uh, it's too dark to see anything. And those guys are a bit of a pain. Well, I think I'm going to have to find these on my own time. So, yeah, I'll bring it back when I find everything I need. Okay, I was looking around a little bit to get another five rubies. So that's good. I have another one at home, so that's good. Oh, good. This is actually starting to grow a little bit here. Alright, that's good. I was actually starving. I had to run home and get some water or run back to the base anyways. So how are we doing for power here? 91. I turned that engine off. I'm pretty sure I did. Anyway, let's uh, let us head, head our way back and then I'm gonna, uh, once we get back there, I'm gonna... Well, what else do I need rubies for? I need it for... Uh, I want to get a range upgrade on the, the scanner room, that's for one. Uh, maybe if we get a range upgrade, we might be able to see other things we're not picking up right now. And I think I needed, uh, I think I needed a ruby for a t torpedo system for the Seamoth. And yes, I am going to arm that little thing. <laughs> you know I will. We got the little fart monsters outside the base there. We'll probably start collecting their gas pods and make torpedoes out of them. But anyways, uh, yeah, so I'm going to head back, and I'll bring you back when uh, we're tired, ready to do some stuff. Okay, I am back. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. i turn that off. Uh, there was actually like a main power button on this, but just the engines. Okay, we are going to turn those off, because we don't want to lose the lights. Uh, one thing I do want to check... Oh cool, we can actually open that with the Seamoth in here. That yeah, is cool. I have no idea what's banging. I really don't. Alright, well, that's not what I want to do. I actually want to take the Seamoth out. Take the Seamoth out of here and put it in uh, the base just so it doesn't drain any power that it doesn't need to. Just like the Ashwall. Engine making the noise or what? All like, systems what online. is making that banging noise? No clue. Anyway, let us get back inside. And look at this parking job, man. It's like a pro. I can do it with my eyes closed.
All right, so what do we need here? Cyclone, Seamoth, torpedo system with lithium and aerogel. Aerogel, I believe, was gel sac and and ruby. Yes. Okay, so I do have gel sacs. Where did I put those? I think I had those upstairs. Yeah. So now we gotta run upstairs quickly. Go over here. And gel sack. There we go. Go ahead and make some arrow gel. Excuse me. And titanium. Yes, titanium. I have a whole bunch of titanium. Alright, now. And the whole reason why I'm going with torpedo system now is because of the fact that I have the Cyclops, which is basically a mass amount of storage. Uh, I don't really need to worry about the storage modules on the CMOD anymore. Uh, let's see here, what am I missing? Lithium. Did I have lithium in here? Uh, no, I did not. Okay, back upstairs we go. Won't take long. Won't take long. Oh, and there we go. And uh, um. Of course, it's all in the Cyclops. Uh, while I'm up here, I want to check and see what the range upgrade on the, this costs. Uh, range upgrade. Magnetite. Okay. We'll take care of that too. Alright, so back to the sea. Cyclops, we'll go with the side door here. And we'll hop in and see what we got. I regret painting this thing yellow now because now they those guys think that it's uh one of theirs. Ooh, it's dark. Alright, nothing in there. I have a feeling that's actually the um, Some system trying to do something that doesn't have the power for. Possibly. Don't really know. But let's go ahead and make this thing. Alright. The Seamoth has torpedoes. Let's see what kind of torpedoes can I make? No. If I do make them, it's gonna be the gas torpedoes. Alright, so we want that one out and we put that one in. Alright, let's see this bad boy. I don't see no torpedo system. Oh, there it is. It's on the side there. Where is it? Oh yeah, I can't jump out of here. Hmm. Well, let's have a look at this, shall we? All systems online. Okay, now how do I... Okay, well, I was using the vortex grenades too. Oh, I hope I didn't use anything I had on me. No, I didn't. Alright, so how do I access the torpedo bay? Where is this thing? Oh, I see it. And I see it can actually clip right through the thing. Alright, let's try this again. Let's actually put that somewhere where it's going to be a little more easier to get to. I said, no, you can... Oh yeah, it won't let me do that. Uh, where does it put... I think it puts it on the other side there. Let's go have a look.
I'll put it in the front. I guess I have to do it this way. Do I? All systems online. Ah. And a whole six torpedoes. Nice. It's actually... Uh, that's not what I want. Uh, it's actually... There. Can you uh, drop a couple of those for me? Can I just pull them right off your butt? No. Okay. Come on. Thank you. That's and I didn't get him in time. Of course not. Holy jeez, that really hurt me. Good thing I had that on me. Alright. Since I got a battery for this thing, let's actually use it. Come on. I need your gas pods. Missed. Kind of, kind of tricky trying to get these ones because you gotta try to get them before they pop. Come on. I missed. Oh, and I got sick again. All right, let me uh, try to get a few more of these, and I'll bring you back when we have time to load her up. Okay, I got a few of them now. So let's see what we need for these torpedoes. I gotta make them over here. And now we got two of them. Nice. And, and there we go. And that gives us a nice six pack. Awesome. Back to the Seamoth. Alright, so now you should be able to take all six of them, right? Beautiful. All right, so now, now we're going to get that upgrade, which I need the magnetite for. Uh, hang on. All right, sorry about that. So we got our torpedo system set up. We got that thing fully armed. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to check? Uh, well, we don't really worry about the Cyclops depth module at the moment. Oh, yes, that's what we got to do. We got to get ourselves a power cell charger. And I think we are going to place it, let's actually put one here, and see if we can... Pants blanket, okay, that was the... Oh yes, I have to go and start making, let's see here, that's wiring kit, so I need a wiring kit, gold, and a computer chip, and a computer chip was gold and copper wire. So I am going to need a little bit of copper, I don't know how much I have on me got two on me and I think I think I have some in the Cyclops do I not I don't think I have any in here I think it was just titanium and creepine yes all right back to the sub I really appreciate those guys keeping an eye on my sub uh, on my Cyclops for me Nothing in there, nothing in there. Oh wait, hold on. That's gold. And copper. Alright, I need one more copper by the looks of it. There's my magnetite. I got some in there too. So I gotta grab one more copper and I'll bring it back when it's time to get that done. Is somebody knocking? Okay, I have enough to make this sink now. So I think what I'm going to do is I want to actually put it downstairs because it's probably be the most sensible place to have it is where I'm going to be most of the time. So let's go ahead and place it right on the wall here. Uh, it's expensive. I'd like to try to get another one made if I can, or a few if I can. I don't know how long this is going to take to charge. They seem to be charging pretty quick, and they're vibrating. Okay, now for the next upgrade, which I think I still have enough for. And that is a range upgrade over here. Yes, I had one copper left. Alright. You know what, let's go for it. Let's do two range upgrades. 
right, range upgrade, range upgrade. So, let's see if it gives us any of that. Oh, look at that. So we get sulfur, copper, gel set, gold, heat area. Oh, that's cool, it's gonna show us thermal points. That'll be handy. What else? Metal salvage, reef packs. Oh, we don't care about the reef packs. Shale, stalker tube, wreck, and titanium. It's not showing us the the ruby, but that is fine. All right, I don't think we can really do any other upgrades besides that. We could either speed or range, and I think we're just about maxed out there. Uh, is there any other upgrades we can do here? Uh, let's go see what we got down here. Could probably do a hull reinforcement on the cyclops. That would always come in handy. Are you serious? I'm always thirsty. Come on. So I got the torpedoes. Let's see. All right, this is just for a prawn and sea moth. Or prawn suit and sea moth. Okay. Well, let's go check the cyclops one more time before we call it an episode. Let's see if there's anything we can do in here. But I think next episode we're gonna head back to the Aurora and do a little bit of exploring over there. Let me get some lights on in here. So goddamn dark. I still don't know what that sound is. It's coming from right from here. And it's loud too. Hmm, I have no idea. That's our decoy. Oh, I didn't mean to close the door. But let's go check this one out one last time here. Uh, Plasteel and rubies. I think I have one ruby left. Alright, that's just diving depth, uh, energy efficiency. Uh, still gotta find those things. I'm not really worried about that or those two. Alright, well, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Oh, yeah, we can go down here. Okay. Uh, is that anything? No, it's not. Oh, yeah, anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.